Hey guys, I'm Marin, and I'm going to be presenting to you Zoe and my PowerPoint on Islam in Afghanistan. So I couldn't be here today, so it's just going to be me talking to you about religion in Afghanistan. Religious influence. Islam guides people from birth until death and influences their daily lives, such as prayer five times a day. Religious credentials are highly thought of and honored throughout society, and a lot of highly religious people are, their word is considered infallible. Uh, Afghans express their religious devotion through commitment to defend their land and their people and their beliefs. There is at least one religious building in every town. I, uh, for example, mosques in every Muslim village. The majority of the country is of the Muslim religion with very small amounts of people in other religions, such as Christians and Sikhs. There are two types of Muslim in Afghanistan, Sunnis and Shias. The population is made up of 85% Sunni Muslim, 15% Shia Muslim, and somewhere between 500 and 8,000 Christians, and about 2,000 people in the Sikh religion. Islam. Islam is a religion developed from the Prophet Muhammad, who has followers and believers known as Muslims. These Muslims have a holy city, city Mecca, and there is a difference between the Sunni and Shia Muslims. Sunni Muslims think that the Prophet's successor should be chosen by leaders called Imams, and Shia Muslims believe that the Prophet's successor should be a direct descendant of the Prophet, and there is this um, schooling called Sufism, which is the esoteric and mystical schooling of Islam, which is founded on the idea of finding God through personal experience. And some Sunni and Shia Muslims follow Sufism as well. Sufis are opposed to the Western-style democracy in Afghanistan, and their leaders claim 60% of Afghani support. The difference between the sector's beliefs, Sunni and Shia, create some tension between the two sectors. There are five pillars of Islam. Shahabat is the first pillar, and this pillar is the declaration to the Muslim religion and that God is the only God. And their declaration starts with there is no God but God. Salat, which is the second pillar, is for prayer. Muslims pray five times a day facing towards Mecca, their holy city. And Zakat, which is the third pillar, is for giving. And Muslims give to the poor or to charities through this pillar and belief. Psalm is fasting. Muslims go without eating or drinking throughout the day during the ninth month of the Muslim calendar, Ramadan. And Hajj is the fifth pillar, which is the holy pil pilgrimage that happens every year to, the, to Mecca. And this pillar is Muslims with the utmost devotion to God and, the, and their religion. And as you can see in the photo of the corner, um, this is all the people that go to Mecca every year during Hajj. Okay, mosques. Mosques are places of worship for the Muslim people, and there is at least one in every Muslim village. These mosques not only provide places to worship, but also a place for schooling and village gatherings. There is certain mosque etiqu etiquette, so don't just go wandering into a mosque uninvited. They will not be happy with you. So if you're a stranger to the mosque, you must ask permission to enter before going in. Shoes must be taken off, and if you're a woman, your head must be covered, and no lewd clothing or anything. There is no use of bad language in a mosque, and uh, they ask to observe the people praying and give them space because they believe in that. Okay, basics of the Taliban. The Taliban is a Muslim fundamentalist group, the majority being Pashtun ethnicity. The word Taliban is Arabic for students. The members of this group chose this name for themselves because many are former students of Islamic school in Afghanistan and Pakistan. The leader is Mullah Muhammad Omar and is believed to be operating out of Pakistan, but very little is known of him. 
um, more on the Taliban. The Taliban's original mission was to restore was to restore peace, disarm the population, enforce Islamic law, and defend the character and integrity of Afghanistan. For a time, they were supported by the population until they began to enforce severe their severe version of Islam, which is considered to be the most extreme interpretation in existence. They closed girls' schools, re restricted women to their homes, and banned nearly all forms of entertainment, including TVs sports, and even kite flying. Punishments for these violations include burning buildings, beatings, beheadings, stonings, and hangings. The Taliban today, as of mid-2009, the Taliban controlled most, much of southern and western Afghanistan and northwest Pakistan. Many, many members and leaders direct terrorist activities, such as those towards the U.S., NATO forces in Afghanistan, and threatening Pakistan secular rulers. The Taliban still commits direct terrorist activities against certain religions and people. Um, that's all I have for you today, but thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, I hope you learned something. Thank you.